What's going on, money friends and the viewers of the tube? Is Gal Games a scam? Let's get into it right now. So this is Gala, and it had quite the run up in the last bull run when it was up to 70 cents. Now it's uh, down to two cents. There has been a lot of crazy things going on with Bet Bender and Benefactor and people quitting and lawsuits and all sorts of stuff. But let's actually check out their website because two new games have been uh, kind of in the news uh, that they are no longer going to be uh, do anything with them. And so let's pull up that news because I think that is huge. Um, if we can find it real quick. All right, so if we go to right here, Battlestar Galactica and Eternity and Empires or Echoes of Empire. I actually had, I think, Echoes of Empire and I, I sold out of all of my Gala stuff. Uh, if we actually look at my uh, channel, we can actually see right here that uh, I said for sale Gala nodes founders this was january 19th uh, and when i was getting into a gala it was popping around here is the, the gala nodes a, a good investment and it, they were they were really doing well um, and i got fully out of gala before they all of the news started breaking with the founders suing each other all of the different things but now i mean look at the project itself all the games are being uh, dismantled, all the big games. You know what, to be honest, like, let's look at some of these games. And I've said, I think I've said this in the past, and I'm sure I've said, why are they, no one's gonna buy, go, no one's gonna use music, uh, Gala Music. There's Spotify, there's YouTube, both are better options, easier to use, and don't need to do all this rigor remove, remove with the wallets and that sort of thing. Number two, uh, TV and music, there's Netflix, there's all this other stuff. No one wants to buy another service or use a service that is better with more options by I, I haven't looked at any of the videos, but I'm guessing that the these are the quality of film is going to probably be like going to one of these film festivals by independent creators where they don't have a large budget and they're trying to get by that's what i think but let's get into uh gala because i was gonna say that i got out in may and i think that's way over here when it was like four cents um it was doing pretty, yeah, I was four cents and I got out. I was selling, when I had my nodes, I was selling all the way down and down and down. And then I think I sold my nodes right around in January and they have just, they haven't been doing anything, I guess. Um, some people got some NFTs, but I said this previously that like Web3 gaming is a facade. Like, and I'll, I'll tell you why. And this is a perfect example of this. You do not, just because you own NFTs and assets, does that mean anything? <laughs> it's a facade. Like, just because you own something on the blockchain, on a ledger, doesn't mean it's actually worth anything. If that company goes bankrupt or there's a hack or something and those assets are now deemed useless, you still have useless assets if they're on the blockchain or if they're not in the blockchain. Uh, that's, that's about it. So now we're seeing this with Gala and how they're falling apart. I can definitely see them uh, going uh, away with lawsuits and everything. I don't see them holding up. Um, all these Web3 games, they're all garbage. Uh, I mean, even I, I had high hopes for uh, this game. A few of these games actually. There was a few games that I was actually really liking. So Star Tank's pretty fun for maybe one or two. That's about it. Town Townstar. Meh. I mean if you like the 
the Farmville kind of game, then great. Uh, Dragon Strike never played it. Eternal Paradox, meh, superior, meh. Grit was a horrible game. Uh, I tried. I thought, I mean, coming from Epic Games, I was thinking it would be better. Not a good game. Mount Match never played. Legends Reborn never played. Miranda's, eh. Uh, I find Minecraft to be better. Internal uh, Galaxies never played. Walking Dead just saw uh, previews. And all these other games. Uh, I was really excited about Fortitude. Um, I had a epic land. I ended up selling it because nothing was, was coming from it. Same thing with Le Legacies. Never played it. Um, but, I mean... You know, no one's playing any of these games. That's why you see 700 out of 46 out of 1,000. Um, let's see. Like, all of these are just for sale because no one's buying this stuff. No one wants to play. No one wants to pay. This is the thing. And I don't think the Web3... I think I made this mistake, and I think a lot of other people made this mistake in the Web 2 or going into the Web 2 space, getting into the Web 3 spaces. People pay that thousands of dollars for a game that really has no value, and you expect people to play a game and spend thousands of dollars. Like, that's never gonna work. That's why these, like, why microtransactions and, uh, you know, these little psychological plays that the gaming industry has proven without a shadow of a doubt, if you want people playing, you need to treat it like a, um, like a roulette table or a gambling and have microtransactions and um, much lower cost of entry, but uh, allowing for spikes of dopamine to hit with microtransactions and loot systems. Uh, by introducing games with a high price point, you're not going to get a lot of people in and really you're not going to get gamers in, you're just going to get speculative investors and that's not going to create a longevity of a game and that's why Gala is going to fail because the games aren't priced correctly and so that's about it. Um, I just wanted to give my two cents. Um, I, d I don't think that Gala is gonna last I mean they might have the money but then again they might owe a lot of money in uh, court fees and you know all sorts of stuff so we'll see I, I a lot of these gaming platforms are all garbage I mean if we go to uh, the gaming uh, blockchain here immutable meh I mean uh, nothing really fancy Floki I haven't played their game. Not Coin. Beam is trash. Gala is trash. Axe Infinity is trash. Ronin is Axe Infinity. Sandbox is trash. Mana is trash. Apecoin is trash. Um, so all these, there's no real engine coin, maybe. No, none of these are real games. So you are not, I mean, yeah. I think that people... This is my whole philosophy on this. I think people think that crypto and gaming go hand in hand. And they do in a digital economy space uh, because obviously there is like a, a digital economy, you have MMOs, you have EverQuest, World of Warcraft, you know, all these games where you people use digital currency like gold, right? And so you have to think that that, that is an economy, but the logistics of it is the the hard part uh, because now you're you're safeguarding against fraud and hacks for uh, financial gain versus computer uh, hacks and exploits and code. So now you're you're having to uh, create protections on both fronts. And that's hard. And game, game companies aren't banks. And they don't want to be a bank. And so having to hit both of those makes it very, very hard. So, and if you look at the regulation, like look at Diablo when they had the real, well, let's look at what happened with that. Like what happened with Diablo's real world, Diablo, 
real world economy why did it end? actually let's just ask chat gpt so chat gpt here right here let's pull this up and so uh, the world world economy in Diablo 3 known as the auction house was shut down for several key reasons and balancements which that's the i mean it's going to be by the way that's why a lot of these games are pay to win player frustration meh i mean that's people know if they're getting into web 3 there's going to be uh this pay to win feature market saturation driving down prices which is going to happen that's economy security and fraud issues that's i think one of the major thing is this the real run money transactions open the door to various security and fraud issues players encounter scams account hacking and other fraudulent activities which pose significant challenges for both players and game blizzard and game developers so i definitely see that being the major thing um why they would shut it down uh so uh, personally i think that's the the major thing of why they shut it down uh and that's why i think that the what's going to happen if people want to get into web gaming in web 3 where we get to this this uh ar slash that's that's what's going to happen there's not going to be a web 3 um thing in a sense it's going to be like a web it's going to be like a web 4 or it's going to be a true web 3 where we're, we're using ar goggles we're playing like that one game with that movie where we have those ar goggles i forgot fail i forget the, the movie but where you have a world on top of a world and you are able to uh, shoot things and earn points and you, those points are scored within uh, your goggles or whatever. It's not going to be the blockchain. Um, I mean, it might run on the blockchain, uh, but it's not going to be Gala Games. It's not going to be... Uh, Mariah, Mariah or whatever these games are trash so that's it guys it's probably going to be Apple or Google or Microsoft that's going to create this and it's not going to be one of these blockchain games so that's it remember to like and subscribe smash the like button ring that notification bell and I'll see you on the next one